guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new today's video is definitely something i've had quite a few requests to do before like a couple of comments and a few people messaging me on instagram and that is a room tour now i used to absolutely love these um growing up i started making like youtube videos and silly lip sync stuff when i was probably 10 or 11 like i've said before but it's obviously only been the past couple of years that i've really started to post so if you have watched my videos over the past few years you will have seen my bedroom and obviously like the background of my videos and my vlogs and stuff but i've never really showed my room properly um and if you watch one of my recent vlogs i can't remember which one it was it was only a few videos ago I basically moved my room around, um, I think it might have been the weekly vlog. I moved my room around just because I, at some point, I think I want to get a new bed, a couple of new bits and bobs and just do it up a bit differently. I've completely changed my mind on what I wanted to go for with this room. If you know me personally, you know that I love designing, interior design kind of stuff. But I've never really had the creative ability because me and my mum rent this house and I've lived here since I was eight. Um, my room's gone through a lot of changes but it's not really, a lot of it wasn't my choice obviously much when I was younger. Um, I did obviously have a say in like what I wanted but now that I, you know, I use Pinterest a lot, I get a lot of inspiration from other people's YouTube room transformations and Instagram, um, home accounts. It's just annoying, I wish I had a bigger space, like I cannot wait to have my own place, maybe in the next couple of years. I am 22 now by the way, my birthday vlog should have gone up before this one, but I have not uploaded it yet. Um, yeah, I'm 22, still live at home with my mum, um, just because saving up to buy a house is really expensive and I cannot decide whether I want to live locally and maybe try and rent for a little bit, see if I like living in my own space. Or not <laughs> but I thought I would show you guys my room what it's like now because it's actually fairly tidy um, and I put a few bits and bobs away there are still things kind of hanging around but that's normal my room is usually like this maybe a little bit messier but I thought I would just show you before I do any other changes like if I get a new bed um, like a new chest of drawers if I do anything with the walls blah blah blah, blah. this intro is way too long um, so if you are interested and you have been wondering what my room actually looks like where I keep things, what's in my drawers, then just keep watching. But yeah, this is what you see when you walk into my room. So I will just open the door. So if that wants to stop squeaking, um, I'll just give you a quick overview. So you walk in. So first thing you see when you walk in is obviously my desk. This cupboard here um, has a lot of jumpers and then all of like my jackets and coats. I've got a basket of other jumpers there. There's boxes of bags and like scarves and onesies and stuff. I've got some camera equipment. I've got a little baby Groot who is the most adorable thing ever. Um, yeah, I'm trying to organise this quite a lot but it's just a really stupid space this is kind of over the stairs so the stairs go under here so obviously that's annoying I don't have the space there um, but that is what is in that cupboard I do try and keep it as tidy as I can then we have my wardrobe which actually is quite a mess right now so I've started utilizing this space a little bit more for joggers and some blankets and stuff there's a big cardigan up there but yeah, this is my wardrobe, again, really stupidly built because it goes all the way back in there um, and I can't reach a lot of clothes. I think I've probably complained about this before. My shoes are a bit of a mess at the bottom. Uh, they never stay that tidy. I have too many and not enough space. But yeah, my wardrobe basically goes back all the way down there. So me and my mum, I think, are going to contact... Um, the housing association and see whether they would allow us to like do something with this because it's really frustrating this is my 
desk area so I did used to have curtain poles on these things and curtains but took them down didn't like them so I've just got plain white blinds um, but yeah this is um, a desk from Ikea a lot of my furniture is from Ikea so this is a desk from Ikea um, you've got the five Addix drawers a tabletop and some table legs and then a extra bit on the top for like computers and stuff so we've got some little plants a candle really cute card that beth got me for my birthday then on this windowsill is where i keep jewelry so like my earrings my watches that is full of like hair bobbles hair clips a little mini group are there then we've obviously got my computer my mouse and my keyboard then these are just some random bits again clock a wax burner candle that I don't actually burn, it's just got an F on it. And then a really cute mug, again, that Beth got me for my birthday that I need to take downstairs. In these drawers, this is just kind of like some random bits and bobs. Glue stick, wax for the burner, my scissors, some sellotape, pens, stapler, bits and bobs. I tend to put receipts in there as well, just um, in case. And then in here is like more stationery, so lots of pens. Sticky thingies, a hole punch, some staples, some highlighters, a pack of cards, quite random. That is just random like sprays that I need to put away and some cola cubes. Um, this is just a little chair from Ikea again, that was a top I had to take a photo in earlier. In these drawers we've got all of my eyeshadow palettes in here, there's quite a few and I forget what I have. This is kind of like all of my diaries, my notebooks, I've got my blue light glasses, my passport, uh, whatever they're called, some tissues, kind of just like a bit random but some essentials. This is kind of like a junk drawer, I have my pill, lots of phone cases, stick on nails, purse, batteries, more cases. Uh, some more purses, just kind of stuff in there. This is my electrics drawer, which I really need to sort out. So this has like all of my chargers, my headphones, cables, uh, Polaroid cameras, sprocket, old tablet, old phones, uh, Polaroid thing, a speaker, my tripod for my little camera. Uh, that's just that and then this bottom drawer is just full of like paperwork um from jobs and stuff like that um, this mirror is from ikea so many people have this but it's just nice and big it moves around my room quite a lot and then above this i've just got a cork board with a few little cute bits on pictures of me and my friends me and jack my boo avenue thing when i first became an ambassador i don't know whether i'm going to keep that there because i don't know what i want to do with this wall um but yeah then <laughs> wish this wasn't here this is a bag full of some stuff some palettes i'm selling things that i kind of need to chuck away cds that i found lots of random stuff old stool from ikea and then under that is a bag of clothes that i have in a bag because i'm trying to sell them then we've just got some like body sprays and a room spray this is an oil burner reed diffuser these are all of my necklaces Fake plant, smelly thing, Eiffel Tower that I got in Paris, my initials that do light up that Jack got me, another fake plant, another fake plant, and then we are over here. So there's nothing on the floor here. This is my Alex 9 drawers again from Ikea. There is my tripod that I tend to use when I'm filming like sit down videos with my camera um, and a parcel that I need to send off on Tuesday. So on top of here, Hi guys, this mirror is very dirty. I do apologize. No idea where this is from, but I wanna get a new one because it's kind of crap. But there is all of my makeup brushes, of course, in the pots that everyone has <laughs> from Ikea. I've had these for years now, but for some reason, whoever started putting their brushes in these pots, everyone seems to do it now. Then this is the majority of my lipsticks. I've got my MAC lipsticks here. I've got lots of lip glosses, and these are all of my lip liners so that's what I tend to like grab on there and then I will quickly whiz you through these drawers just because I don't want to be here for ages so top drawer we have foundations concealers foundation samples that like I try from work if we've got a new 
foundation from one of the girls or something so it's all in there this is all powders bronzers blushes highlights all just kind of powder stuff then in here we've got all of my sponges extra lip products in here there's a brow palette here and then we've got like my lash glue my tweezers sharpener scissors and then this is all mascaras brow stuff eyeliners eyelash trailers yeah all kind of like eyes and eyebrows Ooh. And lip balms and stuff as well. Then we have like skincare, so this is a lot of like my tannin, my body glow stuff, all of my primers, uh, setting sprays, lots of like my moisturizers, my acids. This has got loads of like little moisturizers and stuff in it in there, so that's kind of like skincare apart from stuff that's in the bathroom. This drawer is a little bit of a mess. This kind of was an eyelash drawer, but now I've just put random stuff in there. So I've got lots of leftover eyelashes, like eyelash serums, more lashes and stuff in there, uh, a body butter, and then some lip stuff. This is kind of like my hair tool drawer. So I've got my Mark Hill straighteners, my GHDs, my Mark Hill curlers. I think there's some other curlers, my Beauty Works waivers, all of my brushes, some clips and combs and stuff in there. This drawer is, I think, that is some Blue Avenue moisturisers and stuff, I think, some hair rollers. This is a lot of like extensions and like wigs, more extensions, uh, a random nail polish. But yes, all kind of maybe old cheapy extensions and wigs that I kind of need to get rid of, but I don't really know what I want to do with them. Then my Foxy Locks extensions I cut short that don't really match my hair now, just because this is my other Foxy Locks extensions. They're very different. I do try and wear these sometimes, but my hair kind of does blend, but my hair is a lot like lighter than this now. This straw is, again, another wig the other bits to the extensions I've got in now some everyday kind of hair products here and more ponytail extensions and some clips in there and then this is all of like my hair so like hair sprays um serums some moisturizers um gels all kind of like hair products a few tanny moisturizer bits in there as well then obviously we've got my bed, which I've recently moved into the middle. I don't think I've ever had it here before. I've had it in the corner, I've had it in the middle this way, I've had it in the corner that way, I've had it in the corner that way, I've had it that way. Um, but I do like it in the middle because I want to do something with this wall and I want to get a really nice kind of luxury, soft velvet, creamy white bed. There's a few different companies I've been looking at, but I just can't make my mind up and I want to get some Ottoman storage as well. I did mention that before no idea where my bed is actually from it is just like a really dark brown leather a few slats have broken i've got a radiator there which is annoying some cheapy pillows from primark don't actually know where this bedding is from it's just white bedding with a gray trim just got my ipad there um i've got an extension lead because there's plugs behind this chest of drawers so that is where i charge my phone but yeah that is my bed in the middle and then moving on over here, this is a little bit messy because I don't really know what I want to do with this at the moment. I've just kind of put some random stuff here. So you've got a really cheapy little lamp that I think is from Primark. Um, just because I need a bit of light like when I'm led in bed. Got a little Yankee candle that I'm burning at the moment. A, another fake plant. Pot full of pennies and stuff. Spare change. This is really cute actually. Um, Beth gave me these. They're all like little notes that she's written on and folded up that... Um, are just like little nice things so when I'm feeling a bit crappy she's written stuff in there which I thought was really cute this is just a little tray of like jewellery some random euros perfumes, rings, chewing gums I don't know, really random these are eggs I was eating earlier and I've got some money and cards and tablets these I don't know what to do with because I they're basically full they are purple shampoo and conditioner, but I feel like they dry my hair out quite a lot, so I don't really want to keep using them. Um, but I don't want to sell them because I've used them, so they just chill in there for now. This is really cute. This was a gift that I had for graduation. 
obviously it's a little graduation hat but there's a little beer with a hat on in there I think that's like the most adorable thing so I like to keep that by there this is really cute this is what I got um for completing the Boo Avenue student ambassador scheme I am the vlogging queen thanks guys that was really cute um yeah I love that so I kept that there but yeah that's kind of what's on the top this drawer is full of random stuff <laughs> so I've got some like vitamins and tablets and stuff that I take there makeup wipes these are all like face masks nose strips uh feet peel things these are all of my sunglasses um another candle that is a box that my watch came in a cute little mug that i got from Dermalogica that needs to go downstairs lint roller lighter bed fabrics that i've ordered some more vitamins uh tan gummies bingo dotters for some reason some toe separators, nipple, no not nipple tape, body tape. Then this is full of like tablets, plasters, some tampons, a lot of creams and stuff for like my PPD allergies. Um, if I ever get allergic reactions to like dye. Oh, another pair of coolers under there. Just all kind of like medicine stuff. Two books that I really need to read again because I love these. If you haven't read them, do give them a read. And then this is just kind of like random stuff this drawer then has all of my bras my bikinis and swimming costumes and my pants this drawer i can kind of show you i guess this is socks tights and fluffy socks these are all like little crop tops and stuff there's no point hanging so they're just kind of all in a drawer i've got belts bralettes and stuff but i have all of these um divider things in this drawer as well for my underwear i think these are from ikea as well this chest of drawers is also from ikea it's the malm one bottom drawer then is um all of my shorts so i've just got some denim shorts and stuff in there i do need to order some more stuff then i've got uh, all of my pajamas most of this is actually from boo avenue these are um I think they're tumble dryer sheets, but you can put them in your drawers to smell nice and kind of freshen them up. And then this is all of my leggings and cycling shorts and stuff. But then we go up to these shelves, which I actually hate now. I don't know why I decided to get these, because they look really ugly. I wish I just got, like, really simple plain ones. I don't know if I can change them now, because obviously I've put holes in the wall. I've got my Polaroid camera there, and then I've got my perfumes up here, to be honest. I think a lot of people would think I'd have loads of perfumes and I have lots of little samples and stuff but these are the main ones I use. So I've got a Michael Kors, Primark, Victoria's Secret, Beyonce, Hugo Boss, uh, Yves Saint Laurent, I think that's Juicy Couture and then that's like a really old Katy Perry one. Um, so I do need to get some new ones because as you can see the majority of them are running quite low now. So I'm going to finish a few off and then order some really nice ones. And then the last thing is kind of random is this, I'm pretty sure this is from Argos, it's just like a grey velvet box that I keep some spare clothes in, so mainly stuff if I've, I've been sent recently, um, things that I haven't hung up or I've got no room for in my drawers, things that maybe I need to take photos in. I've got a big pair of white boots in there that I don't want to put in there because they'll get absolutely ruined. I keep my Dyson hairdryer in there in its box. This is actually really cute. Um, this is something that I've been sent for a photo to take in from Mapperful. Um, It's the Aries constellation star sign thing. So I'm an Aries and these are just some traits of an Aries. That is my birthday. I just think it's really, really cute. And that is it because I have to charge my battery. And then these little bits down here is a pair of shoes that I need to sell. That is my Dyson Air app that Jack got me for my birthday. Absolutely love that. I think I'm going to do a video. This is a little handheld steamer that I haven't really got a place for. So it's kind of just in the box of nail. Um, that I bought for like 20 quid on Amazon. And it's quite handy. Box full of Lush bath bombs and like shower gels that my mum got. And then that is like a full circle. So then I've just got obviously my dressing gowns. I have lots of dressing gowns. Mainly all from Boo Avenue. Got lots of robes and then my two fluffy ones. And then we've got my Ryland bag, my Gucci bag, and then my cheapy Primark bag that I take on a night out so I don't ruin it. And a jumper. Definitely want a really nice new bed with a bigger headboard. 
like a soft white velvet um not like the crushed velvet i don't really like that but just like the really nice soft material with like the what do you call it the buttoned kind of effect obviously with an ottoman so i'll have lots more storage so i can sort like all my old coats and stuff out um and then i kind of want to do some like prints or something at the top there maybe get some from decenio because i know a lot of people um get their prints from there and i really like them i have looked before and i think you can kind of create your own gallery wall but it just depends how big the headboard on the new bed is going to be but yeah i hope this video wasn't too long and too boring for those of you who are interested and just love being nosy like me i hope you enjoyed seeing what my bedroom is like what i keep in my drawers um yeah i was trying to link some of the furniture that i have down below but like i said the majority of it is actually just ikea furniture that a lot of people have it's just your really nice basic white wooden furniture but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed if you did make sure you smash that thumbs up button and of course hit subscribe down below it would mean the absolute world to me if you stuck around i will speak to you guys again in my next video bye